Lee Van Arsdale is a retired Army colonel, West Point graduate, and Special Forces commander with over 25 years experience in both the Green Berets and the highly secretive Delta Force. And so this is my ego wall, um, somewhat common for old geezers like me to you know, reminisce in the past. From the invasion of Panama. Uh, that was uh, after about six days of straight operations in just cause. To overseeing Delta Force teams during the Somalian peacekeeping mission in Mogadishu, Lee has led soldiers in some of the key global events of the last two decades. In fact, it was his experience in Mogadishu which led to a job as a technical advisor on the set of Black Hawk Down. And uh, it evolved from there, and uh, next thing you knew, I found myself in Morocco for four months. Ridley Scott was a director, a real class act. Jerry Bruckheimer was a producer. And I had no idea what went into making a movie. I, I, I do now, but uh, I was a total babe in the woods and just had a blast. The key is to take what you're learning here and apply it in your everyday life. So that's what I'm going to share with you, some of the leadership lessons I learned both as a soldier and in business, and then some techniques you can actually apply in order to put those principles to use. We had a situation arise an opportunity, an issue, a problem, a crisis, call it what you will. And then we got the commander's intent on what we're going to do. And then we start planning. And all of our planning has a lot of contingencies involved. Because when you're sending guys overseas into a foreign country where they don't want you to be there and there's a likelihood of exchanging bullets, you need a lot of contingencies. So we did that. So commander's intent, plan, contingency plan, a lot of rehearsals. And, and after every rehearsal, we do a hot wash. After every planning phase, we do the brief back to the commander. Remember what John said? I don't know if you heard what I said until you told me what you heard. So it's really smart. And it's true if you think about it. You tell someone something, and, and you walk away thinking, I've just done a great job communicating. And they walk away thinking something totally different. What I enjoyed the most, uh, I spent 25 years in the Army, 18 of that in special operations, and hands down the most enjoyable part of that were the people that I worked with. Uh, you're talking about uh, very smart, very committed, focused, but fun-loving guys, physically fit, uh, well-educated by and large, most of them self-educated, and I miss that. I have not found that uh, anywhere since I've been out of the Army, anything quite like that. The camaraderie there is incredible. You'll, you'll see it on uh, good teams, sports teams, corporate teams, but uh, I've never seen it to the degree that we had in, in the uh, very small, close-knit world of special operations.